All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm gonna show you how we treat somebody with disc herniations in their lower back with sciatica and a disc herniation in their neck with arm pain. Double whammy there, okay? He also has costochondritis, so we're gonna treat all three here in one visit, and we'll show you how we do that successfully. He's already had some relief from one visit, but this is just the start. Imagine what it's gonna be like in four weeks. His expectation should be that we get 50% improvement at minimum in four to five weeks. Four weeks should be enough. As long as we're seeing that, we're in good shape. So what we're doing here is a technique called flexion distraction technique. This technique is the gold standard when it comes to disc protrusions, disc prolapses, aka disc bulges and disc herniations. So this motion here really helps to take pressure off not only the disc, but the sciatic nerve. And it helps to pump nutrients into the back of the disc. This is such a gentle motion, but it can make people sore. We did this on you last time, right? Yeah. Were you sore afterwards? Yeah, that did. Yeah. So it's such a gentle motion and you would think, gosh, what's this? Like, how can that possibly make anybody sore? But it does. So we go easy the first few times and we take them through certain protocols. So there are certain protocols that I have to test them. Like the first time we had to test tolerance, test them. And then we went to protocol one and we're still at protocol one. But when he has some improvement, we'll then go to the next protocol where we add some different movements in the flexion distraction. So there's a little bit of side motion. There's a little bit of a figure eight. And in some cases, we have to do that. In a lot of cases, we don't even need to go protocol two. The improvements with protocol one are um, so immense that oftentimes I don't even get to protocol two or three. So that was to decompress the discs and take pressure off that sciatic nerve. Now his hips are out of alignment, so I, I have to correct that. And a lot of times people like to see the doctor put people on their side and crack their back. Um, when you're dealing with a disc herniation or a prolapse, you want to be careful doing that. In most cases, you'll be fine, and it's perfectly fine. But somebody with maybe like a fissure, crack in the disc, that can irritate the heck out of them. Or if there's done too much twisting motion in that adjustment. So I um, do it sometimes, but I prefer to do gentler uh, techniques where I'm not having to twist him like this technique here, or there's several other types, rather than putting him on his side and doing a, a lumbar roll, okay? Okay, now without bending your knee, raise one leg as high as you can. Keep your leg straight, straight. Raise the whole leg up and down. And the other one, how does that feel? Uh, a little bit tight, but... It's... Tight? Both legs tight? Yeah, but more than left side, but... Okay. Go ahead, cross your left ankle over your right. So he said the left leg felt tight, ankle over ankle. So that tells me, and it wasn't going up quite as high, so it tells me that his sacrum is rotated. So we're going to correct that. Cross your legs. Now try it again. Big difference? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and raise that other leg. Okay, we're going to do one more here. Try that one more time. There we go. Big difference, right? Yeah. And that's how we correct sciatica, Cox flexion distraction technique. That other technique I used was Thompson technique. So I use a mixture of techniques to address sciatica or a disc herniation in the lower back. Nobody takes pressure off of nerves. No other healthcare profession. Don't let them tell you that's the case. They don't. Only chiropractors do. Neurologists prescribe medication and do tests. Chiropractors actually in some states do the same test. And I do EMG neurological testing. We also send out for MRIs and we take x-rays here. So we do everything there except prescribe the medications. We actually get our hands on and fix the problem. Neurologists will give you medication or prescribe physical therapy, which is what? The study of muscles, not nerves. Physical therapy is good for sciatica after we get you out of the acute pain, after the chiropractor gets you out of acute pain. Thanks for tubing in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.